Hey guys, and welcome back to another one of my cocktail videos. It seems really strange for me. I know I've been uploading every day, so to you guys, it seems like I'm pretty active, but it's, it's been really weird. I haven't filmed for 10 days. I had a busy week last week with events for the Steve the Bartender business, but I hadn't actually filmed for 10 days. So it actually feels really good. I'm excited to get back mixing. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a last word. So this was initially created around Prohibition in the States. Not a lot of people have been making it until recently, four or five years ago, an American bartender started making it and now it's had this massive resurgence and it's probably more popular today than it was back then when it was first created. So starting with coupe glass, set that aside with an ice cube to chill it down. So it's shaking cocktail, so start off with the shaker and super easy, equal parts, three quarters of a shot. So three quarters of gin. Today I'm using Antipodes. An Australian certified organic, used it a few times. Then chartreuse, so a herbal liqueur made by monks, for those that aren't familiar with it. Pretty, uh, pretty deadly, it'll <laughs> knock your socks off. And then next up I've got maraschino liqueur. So Luxardo. Same again, three quarter shot. And final ingredient, fresh lime juice. Three quarter shot again. I love making these cocktails that are just equal parts, it makes it really easy. Do your cocktail shake with ice and give it a good shake. Now double strain into your chilled coupe. It's very uh, daiquiri-esque, the way it looks. It's got a little bit more of a green tinge to it. Garnish is completely up to you. It seems to be most common that people would leave it ungarnished, but if you were to garnish, either a lime twist or a maraschino cherry. And there you have a last word. Cheers. Good balance between the sugar content of the, the maraschino liqueur and that lime juice. Maybe the maraschino and the lime juice gives it that sort of cordial-like viscosity. Am I talking shit? It's, it's sour, it's very subtle hint of cherry from the maraschino liqueur, very herbaceous. It's an interesting cocktail. It's worth a shot. Give it a try. And this is the first time I've tried it. 